If you're planning a trip to Whistler and are looking for the best spots, activities and hidden gems, you're in the right place. From skiing on world-class slopes, to hiking and biking through stunning forests, to indulging in delicious food and drinks, Whistler is packed with endless activities and breathtaking sights that will leave you speechless. So grab your backpack, put on your hiking boots and join us as we discover the must-see spots and hidden gems of this amazing town. First on our list is riding the Peak to Peak Gondola. This gondola holds several world records and connects Whistler and Blackcomb Mountains, providing stunning views of the surrounding mountains and valleys. The gondola rides is 4.4 kilometers long and offers a truly unique experience. The views are breathtaking and you can see the entire valley, glaciers and the surrounding peaks. You can even see the Pacific Ocean on a clear day. The peak to peak costs between $60 to $80 depending on the season or free if you have a ski pass. Next up, we're heading over to Mount Curry Coffee Co for what we believe to be Whistler's best coffee. This local cafe is just off the main village stroll and is a bit of a hidden gem, using ethically sourced beans and stocks a great selection of wraps and bagels. With a wide variety of options from espresso drinks to pour overs and cold brews, it's no surprise that Mount Curry has won awards for their coffee. Third on our list is Split's Grill, which is widely known among locals as Whistler's best burger joint. They have a wide variety of options to choose from, such as the poutine burger, the bacon buffalo ranch and our favourite, the spicy lentil burger. The burgers are made with fresh ingredients and the buns are baked in house. They also have a happy hour from 2 to 5 every day of the week. Next up on our list is Lost Lake, a must see destination for any nature lover visiting Whistler. This beautiful lake is worth visiting all year round and offers an escape from the hustle and bustle of the village. The lake is looped by an easy-going 2.8km well-maintained trail and offers stunning views of the lake and the surrounding forest. In the summer, Lost Lake is a popular spot for swimming, stand-up paddleboarding and kayaking, but in the winter the lake usually freezes over and activities are a little more limited. Regardless of the time of year, with its serene setting and beautiful surroundings, Lost Lake is a must-visit destination for anyone looking to reconnect with nature and escape the crowds. For something a little different, check out the Valley Lumina, a magical winter light walk through the forest. Filled with light displays, sculptures and interactive elements, the walk is sure to be a magical and enchanting activity. Pretty magical! After you complete the night walk, you can relax and warm up by the fire, drink hot chocolate and toast marshmallows at the Valley Lumina Base Camp. It's a great experience for families and children and is open both in summer and winter months. Tickets start from $30 and can include round trip transportation from Whistler Village if you don't have a car. This transportation option however tends to sell out so we would recommend booking in advance. If you're visiting Whistler you can't leave without trying its signature activity skiing in the winter or mountain biking in the summer. Whistler Blackcomb is famous worldwide for both, attracting crowds from all over. Between the two mountains, the resort has a huge variety of runs and trails for all skill levels. 
So whether you're a beginner or an expert, you'll find something to keep you exhilarated. It's easy to rent both ski equipment or biking equipment in one of the many rental stores around the village. However, it's worth noting that this can be costly. Whistler also offers lessons and guides if you'd prefer to explore the mountain that way. If you're looking for a fun night out, try your luck at Bingo Night at Tapley's Pub. The pub is a popular spot for locals and visitors alike, and it's a great place for some apres ski after a day on the slopes. Bingo Night is held every Tuesday and there are great prizes to be won, from short skis to mountain bikes. If you're visiting Whistler in the winter, don't forget to try the festive hot chocolate at the Four Seasons, perfect for warming up after a day on the slopes. The Tipsy Snowman is a boozy hot chocolate served with marshmallows, whipped cream and your choice of liqueur. It's sold outdoors out of a vintage camper, with a number of fire pits to keep you warm and even a station to make your own s'mores. It's available to both hotel guests and visitors, costs $15 each and includes unlimited s'mores. Number 9 on our must-do list is to visit the Trainwreck Hike, a unique and interesting hike lining the Chukamus River through a beautiful area where a train derailed over 60 years ago. The hike is a short bus journey from Whistler, about 3 kilometres long, and a great place to experience one of Whistler's most iconic sites. The hike includes a magical suspension bridge over the Chickamas River before unveiling seven heavily graffitied train cars that were once used in a horror movie set. Not only can you explore the inside of the cars, you can even climb on top of them. Not that we recommend it. The hike is a great place to see wildlife and one of our favourite ways to escape the crowds. If you're lucky enough to have access to a car and are feeling particularly adventurous, you could also take a trip to the Keyhole Hot Springs. Whistler, snow on the ground. Pemberton, snow on the ground. Sea to Sky Highway, snow on the ground. These are located out near Pemberton, about two hours north of Whistler. This is an amazing hike that takes around an hour each way traveling through the beautiful mountains of British Columbia and is sure to be an unforgettable experience. Be aware though that especially in poor conditions a 4x4 is recommended and the springs are closed completely in the summer due to the population of grizzly bears in the area. The hike takes you through some of BC's most stunning forests over icy waterfalls and quite possibly some very deep snow before arriving at three steaming hot springs at the bank of the Lillooet River. If you'd like to see more on this one, feel free to check out the full video on our channel. If you're visiting in the summer and are looking for an alternate activity, we would recommend the ATV tours, which out of the many excursions available in Whistler was definitely our summertime favourite. We hope you enjoyed our video and have a great time exploring all that Whistler has to offer. If you want to recommend any other activities, don't forget to drop them in the comments below and feel free to subscribe to our channel for more travel and adventure videos.